The most common question you'll likely have as a new scripter, or even as a more advanced scripter, is how do I organize the scripts in my game? Where do I put stuff? What services do I use to store things? And so on. So in this video, I want to discuss with you how you should go about organizing the scripts and instances in your game. Now this can be highly subjective, and there's really no right or wrong way to organize your game, but I'll give you an overview of each service you can use to store elements in your game and what you'll typically store inside of them. Let's first talk about where server scripts should go. Almost all, or possibly all of the server scripts in your game should be stored inside of the server script service. The entire purpose of the server script service is for you to store scripts for the server. And that's it. You should be storing them in this service, along with any other module scripts that you need to share between server scripts. However, you can also store modules that need to be shared across server scripts inside of the server storage. The only exception to the location of server scripts would be inside of tools, but even some developers script their game in a way where they don't even put scripts inside of tools. It's ultimately up to personal preference, but you should be storing your server scripts in the server script service, and any modules you need to share between those scripts should be stored in either of these services. Make sure you use folders to structure and store these scripts in your game. Folders are huge and they can really help organize scripts and objects, so make sure you use them. Now when it comes to local scripts, the main areas you're going to store them inside of are going to be starter player and the starter GUI. If you have GUIs in your game, for example, a screen GUI, most developers are going to place a local script as a child of the GUI. However, there are also some developers who keep all of their scripts inside of a starter player. So again, it's really up to preference. There's no right or wrong way of organizing them. You may also have local scripts inside of tools, but again, some developers script it all from starter player. If you have any local scripts whose purpose is to exclusively interact with a player's character, like a health regeneration system or a sprinting and stamina system, you're most likely going to place those inside of starter character scripts, as all of the descendants of starter character is going to be cloned inside of the player's character when they have one added. So if a player dies and they spawn with a new character, that character will have a fresh copy of scripts from starter character. Now, if you need to share any module scripts between local and server scripts, then the best place to store them is going to be replicated storage, as it is a container both the server and the client can access. Typically, developers will create a folder in here. They'll call it something like, I don't know, modules. And inside of that folder is where they'll structure and store all of the module scripts to be shared between the client and server. So again, if you have any functionality and module scripts that need to be shared across the client and server, store them inside of replicated storage. Now, what about module scripts that only need to be shared across local scripts? Well, this is where it comes to personal preference. You can store those modules inside of starter player scripts, or you can also store them inside of replicated storage. Maybe you'll make another folder inside of your module folder, call it something like client, and you can store those modules in there. Again, it's up to personal preference. Any other objects or instances in your game that need to be shared between the client and server should be stored inside of replicated storage. Whereas any objects you want only the server to have access to should be stored inside of server storage, as the contents of server storage are not visible to clients. All right, the next thing we should talk about is the name of scripts and their purpose. Each script in your game, whether it's a module script, a server script, or a local script, should have its own purpose, and that purpose should be defined by the name you give to the script. For example, if you need a system to set up a leaderboard for players and save that information in the leaderboard, you will probably create a server script in server script service, and we could give it a name of like, let's say leaderboard handler. That name tells us exactly what the purpose of this script is, to handle leaderboards. Your scripts should not be doing stuff that is unrelated to the name of the script. For example, if I also made it where my leaderboard handler was also responsible for displaying visual effects from player attacks in my game, that would be very silly as it would confuse you and other developers as to where exactly that kind of stuff is being handled in your game. Instead, you should have another server script and the purpose of that script is solely to handle player attacks and visual effects. So give your scripts one purpose, 
And if you're finding yourself with a script that's doing multiple different things, split that script up into different scripts or module scripts. The last thing I'm going to talk about is replicated first. You will likely use this service very rarely as its main purpose is just to store all the things that need to be replicated to the player first. As an example, this is where you can store a local script and this local script will execute and display something like a loading screen when the player first joins the game. So you could put another object in here like a screen GUI that would be your loading screen. And then this local script would go and take this loading screen and place it in the player GUI folder for the player. If you don't need any instance to replicate immediately to the player, then you should store it inside of replicated storage. Okay, so let's do a quick practice run of organizing scripts in our game. I'm just going to make stuff up as I go, but you can use these same principles in whatever project you are working on. For example, let's say we need to script some kind of main GUI for our game. Well, we would have a screen GUI and starter GUI. This would be like our main GUI. And the option for scripting this GUI, you could put a local script inside of the GUI or some developers, they'll be like, eh, I'll script it all from starter player scripts. So they would have, let's say a folder in here and they would call this GUI and inside of this folder is where they would store all of these scripts for handling different GUIs. So I could call this my main GUI handler and the purpose of this script is to refer to my main GUI and handle all of the UI stuff for it. Let's say I had another screen GUI. I'll just call this my other GUI. Well, again, I would just create another local script and this would be called my other GUI handler. The purpose of these scripts is explicitly expressed within the name and each of these scripts only have one purpose. One's to handle the other GUI and the other is to handle the main GUI. And again, if you don't wanna store these scripts inside of starter player scripts, then you can store them directly inside of the GUIs themselves. Either way works. Now let's say I need to share some functionality between these two local scripts. Like let's say there's some kind of GUI functionality that I can place inside of a module script and that both of these two different local scripts can use. Well, this again is where it comes to personal preference. For example, you could create a folder and starter player scripts. You could call it modules and store all of those shared modules in there. Or you could have a folder and replicated storage called modules. And inside of there, you could create another folder, call it something like client. Inside of there is where you would store your different module scripts, for example, with your GUIs, whatever needs to be shared between local scripts. Now let's say we needed to script a leaderboard for our game, then we'll create a new server script in the server script service. We'll call it our leaderboard handler, and that'll go through and set up the leaderboard for all of the players. Let's say we need another system to handle, let's say game passes, right? Then we could create another script and we'll call it our game pass handler. And as you continue to script your game, you're going to end up with more and more and more scripts. So if you don't want your server script service or you don't want your starter player script to be cluttered with a whole bunch of different scripts, then this is where you can start to use folders to segregate your scripts into different categories. So for example, if I have a bunch of different server scripts that handle different kind of player stuff, then you could create a folder and call it like player handlers or something. And inside of there is where you would store all these scripts that deal with handling player stuff. Now, another way you can script stuff in your game is with a more modular approach where you have one server script and one local script and the rest of the scripts in your game are all module scripts. So the purpose of the server script is to go through and require all of the module scripts. And then the purpose for the local script is to do the same thing, but for all the client sided module scripts. As an example, this project that I've worked on is structured in a more modular approach. So if we take a look at something like starter player and we open up starter player scripts, as you can see, there is a folder called client and inside of here stores all the different handlers for controlling stuff on the client. And then there's a section for modules or basically any module scripts that need to be shared between different handler scripts. And I have one single local script whose purpose is to go through and require all of the different handler module scripts. So for example, inside of here, I have a whole bunch of different handler scripts or handler module scripts for performing different tasks. Like for example, one handles pets in the game, one handles vehicles in the game, one handles the weather, stuff like that. Now this looks pretty cluttered. 
So something I could have done was I could have added another folder to segregate these into different categories, but I didn't bother with that. I just kind of left it how it is because I just read the name and just go to the script that I need to edit. But once your game starts filling up with more and more scripts, then you'll probably want to segregate your scripts into different folders. Same thing goes with the server. There's a folder called server with one singular service script that goes through and requires all of these different module scripts that I called my services. Now this one's pretty stinking cluttered. There's a whole bunch of different stuff for handling different things, like ones for handling doors, ones for handling desk lamps, ones for handling different chat tags, ones for handling like campfires in the game or beds in the game, ones handling toilets and stuff like that. So there's a whole bunch of different services. And then I've also added some other module scripts as children of these services. For example, these are a bunch of different classes. So each one of these services, some of them might have to go through the game and collect all of these different instances of a particular tag. So for example, with my hot tub service here, I go through the game and grab all of the instances that are tagged with hot tub. And then I use my class to set up all of the functionality for that particular hot tub. Now this dives into idiomatic object oriented programming, which I'm not going to dive into right now. That's a little bit too advanced for what this video is talking about, but I'm just showing you an example of how one of the projects that I worked on was structured. And of course there was another section for storing different modules to share between those services. And then I even made some of my own custom enums. And then anything that I needed to share between the server and client, again, I had a folder for modules and inside of here, I stored some different stuff, like for example, some utilities that I might need to share between client and server scripts. So like if I needed to share custom signals or a module called Trove, which is by Slightnik, and even a camera shaker module, which is only client sided, I just decided to place inside of the utilities folder. And then again, I have a folder storing a bunch of my different custom enums for communicating between the client and the server. And then I had some other assets in here, for example, assets like animations, assets for GUIs, models, particle emitters, and a bunch of other stuff. So I just have it all structured into different folders. That way it's a lot more organized. And when I go to open my replicated storage, it doesn't flood open with hundreds of different objects. I have them all organized into different folders. And then for my replicated first, this one's very simple. It's just a local script in here with a GUI that acts as my loading screen. All right, so that is generally how you should organize these scripts in your game. A lot of it is up to personal preference, so you have the freedom to structure your game however you want, but just make sure that you are using each of the services given to you properly. For example, don't store server scripts in starter player scripts and don't store local scripts in server script service. Those would be examples of gross misuse of these services given to you. Anyways, I hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching and stay scripting.